Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, depending on your time zones. Thank you, and this is a good opportunity for me to share with you a few slides related with our activities in relation to the climate change. Um, my name is Fomri Nagus, and I am from Indonesian Agency for Agricultural Research and Development. Our approach in dealing with the climate change is that adaptation is the entry point as it relates to the national target of food security. And it's also related to the sustainable development goals, number one and two on no poverty and zero hunger. And we evaluate mitigation as co-benefit where there are synergies between adaptation and mitigation. And both adaptation and mitigation are related to the goals number 13 of the SDG. This is our strategic plan in research and development in, on climate change. We have greenhouse gas inventory as a routine activity and new and emerging activity is a circular farming system, which is mainly crop and livestock integration. Sustainable peatland management, fertilization, organic matter, and irrigation improvement uh, on upland and as well as the lowland rice projection of adaptation and mitigation scenarios. And the goals for all of these activities is the climate change resilient and low emission Indonesian agriculture. We have funds from national as well as international sources from the national uh, funded uh, research, we have projection of food production and greenhouse gas under different scenarios of adaptation and mitigation. And uh, national greenhouse gas inventories, uh, pit land management, and that's also circular food system. So this uh, most probably will be having uh, joint funding and adaptation to increase temperature, uh, this kind of greenhouse gas, uh, greenhouse uh, trial. The international collaborative uh, research is quite a few on uh, climate change subject. This include uh, improved cattle feed quality. Uh, we have a collaboration with national uh, New Zealand Agricultural Greenhouse Gas Research Center, uh, which will be ended mid next year. But we have a new project on supporting of greenhouse gas mitigation for sustainable, sustainable uh, farming. Uh, this also include cattle feed quality and uh, nitrogen use efficiency for reducing N2O emission. Uh, the funding comes from ACR and New Zealand. Nutrient use efficiency for vegetable crop. We have ongoing research funded by ACR. Closing the yield gap of smallholder oil palm plantation on mineral soil. Uh, this is in collaboration with University of Nebraska at Lincoln using funds from Norway government. So our responsibility is on uh, carbon stock enhancement in the soil and uh, uh, other subject related to greenhouse gases. Improved management of peatland, we have collaboration with eCraft using the source, using the money from BMU Germany. And we have a potential uh, research funded by GIZ Germany, uh, which is still on the pipeline. Uh, greenhouse gas mitigation in irrigated rice system, this uh, long-term research, and this is now we are in phase three in collaboration with IRI and NIAS of Japan. Circular food system uh, with the potential uh, Funding from Wageningen and University of Research is uh, part of the GRA as well as these first two. Uh, 
demonstration of the climate smart uh, land use uh, is the GIZ uh, funding uh, on the pipeline, uh, which include treatments of agroforestry, uh, developing guidelines and technology exchange among Asian member countries. Climate change adaptation for end uh, rice using decision support system. This is also uh, almost completed uh, with collaboration with Kiri and uh, Kirkas Japan. In terms of publication, we have scientific publication and as well as the guidelines, for instance, for greenhouse gas inventory, for measuring carbon stock in Finland and for development of the baseline curve. That's the update from Indonesia. Thank you very much for your attention.